FIFA 23 is a 2022 game that runs on the Frostbite 3 engine, and these are the minimum system requirements for the game. Let's see how much performance we can achieve after making some graphical tweaks. First things first, I'm going to run this game with my dedicated graphics card because the game was crashing on my integrated graphics. I have set the resolution to 720p and all other settings to their lowest possible values. I recommend turning on the dynamic resolution scale as it reduces the quality of the game a bit and improves FPS. Well, the game is still pretty much playable on my PC and I'm getting a very decent amount of FPS. Now quit the game and let's see what we can do to improve its performance. The configuration file of this game is located inside your documents folder under the folder called FIFA 23. Open the file called FIFA setup.ini. Let me clarify something about rendering quality. In the previous FIFA games, lowering the rendering quality value to zero significantly improved the performance of the game but this time it's not working. If you put zero here, the game will automatically change the rendering quality to auto mode, so this thing is just useless. Make sure not to disable dynamic resolution. I don't know what exactly this variable does, but feel free to experiment and let me know in the comment section if you find something interesting. You can change the in-game resolution from here, and I have found something interesting that improves a lot of performance by adding a much lower resolution value here, like 450 by 250. Don't worry, this will not make the game too pixelated. It downgrades the resolution quality a bit more. You can also download this file from the description. Now save it and let's see what we've got. So now the game is even more playable, giving a more decent frame rate. So guys, that's it for today. Make sure to like and subscribe, and also share this video with your low-spec friends so they can also play FIFA 23 on their low-end machines. Bye. The former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from MLS. It's the San Jose Earthquakes, and they take on Orlando City. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, it's a flat 4 5 1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy the match. And the contest begins. Good pressure high up the pitch. Oh, surely! And how about that for a save?